Equestrianism, or the skill or the sport of riding horses, is the only Olympic sport where men and women compete against each other on a level playing field. Horse is not only about the freedom on the prairie or the usefulness for the transportation, they can do dances and other performances as well. Here at the Olympia London International Horse Show, Horse becomes the country's most held animal athlete. Competing in terms of beautiful skills of horsemanship and hot money, it is the world's biggest equestrian competition, attracting world-class equestrian artists, including Olympic medal winners, to compete or perform annually in dressage, show jumping and carriage driving, entertaining over 90,000 audiences with unique performances. This week-long Queen show is just another highlight during this Christmas for you. It was used to be a gorgeous event enjoyed by royal family and upper class people, but now anyone can come and sit here as long as you got a ticket. But it was just as brilliant as it was a hundred years ago. There's loads of really great world class competition going on. We've pretty much everyone's an official sort of competitive rider, that's what they do for their living. We have a few national classes, maybe people have other jobs but they also ride very competitively as well. Everyone is sort of ranked, there's a, something called the Longines World Rankings, so they compete all year long and all the different competitions they get sort of a different number of points and then we invite the riders over and uh, I mean it's sort of part of their, their job, their profession. You don't often get the chance to see such top class competition in the UK. You know, we have the carriage driving world number one here. We've got sort of many members of the top ten of the show jumpers. We retired Vallegro here at the beginning of the week. You know, probably the, one of the most outstanding dressage horses the world has ever had. So I think it's that combination of warm Christmas family fun with the world class competition that makes it so special. Today, 1.2 million of households or individuals claim ownership of horses in this country and many of them play for professional equestrianism clubs. I love it, yeah, it's very smart. I like the way we dress. What do you usually dress when you ride in Essex? Oh gosh, the same sort of thing, you know, these, these but with dark colour, so they don't get, I mean this is silly because they get dirty, you wear them once and they're dirty, but it, it looks smart. Most of the season we are out competing, and this is the indoor season where we jump inside during the winter. For the future I think he's a top, top horse. He has immense power and scope to jump big fences. Um, he's also very um, careful with his jump, he wants, doesn't want to, to touch the fences. Where he's a big horse, he's a little bit difficult to, to, to control. So once I can control him more, I think, I think he'll jump some very big things. I rode for a long time when I was younger, but then I stopped and did other things. And I've been riding now, um, competing for about 10 years at this level. So it's just not again. I think it was just maybe just something inside in my blood. I, I always had an interest in it. I spent all my career bringing horses up from young horses to good as they can be. And we have a big arena with the same surface like this outside so we can ride every day in the rain or the snow or the... Are you going to do it? Uh, go on doing it. Who knows? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's a question of the horses, you know. When you have the horsepower, it makes your job as a rider a lot easier. If you don't have the, the, the right horses, then obviously it's a much more of a struggle. So if I can keep, keep finding good horses and producing them, then I'll continue for until not fit enough anymore. It's a long road, a long process. It's not easy, it's hard work, it's every day. We train ourselves, our horses every day, um, you know, so it's not something that you can just pick up and put down. You have to be really, really focused on it. I've actually competed in China, in Beijing, and also um, in Hong Kong. So I've done a, I've done some riding um, in China, and, uh, and and the people that are, are involved in the sport that I've found are really passionate, and really, and I do believe that it's going to be coming to the forefront um, very soon. You might not know that Chinese people became masters of equestrianism much earlier than Britain did, as early as 11th century BC during Zhou Dynasty. Horse riding was regarded as a necessary sports course for students in China, which was about 1,000 years earlier than its counterpart in the UK. In the history of both countries, horse is strongly connected with heroes. However, modern equestrianism originated in the UK in the 16th century. Well, at the nearly same time in China, many people were prohibited from doing horse sports to prevent military revolts. Although horse riding gains further attention and popularity after Chinese writer Hua Tian's impressive performance in Rio de Janeiro, equestrianism in nowadays China is still burdened with high cost, 
less fields, shortage of coaches and talents, disproportion of riders and horses, etc. We just give our best wishes that this historically questioned country, China, may soon amount to its horse and compete more in the international arena. This country also spares no effort building the equestrian industry from very young groups. Here in the UK, the most popular sports institute is not football schools, but teenager equestrian organizations. Uh, my first pony I got at the age of three. Oh yeah, I fell off her. I fall off all of them. And then we compete with show jumping. We go to, I got to go to school, so we get up at 6.45. We then muck them all out and make sure they all have water for the day go to school and then when we get back after school I come back in, muck them out, ride them. I'd like to be a jockey but if that doesn't work I'd always love to be a show jumper. This country also has the largest group of teenager riders in the world. Hundreds of matches, thousands of horses, riders, organizers, and audiences make equestrianism a huge industrial chain. As the latest equestrianism Olympic winner, Matthew, said, the world's best equestrianism is in the UK and Germany. Xiang Xiangping and Xiao Yueqi reporting from London.